Whether you're a seasoned pro or putting together your very first website, there's no shortage of effective hosting platforms available to lend a hand as you go along. Many have a lot of overlapping features, but still manage to stand out with unique tools and add-ons, which could make them better suited to your particular goals. Now, knowing which platform to pick will largely depend on the type of website you're looking to build or maintain. When I was starting my newest project, I had already had lots of freelance experience, but when I came across Bluehost, I was pretty impressed with how well they managed to simplify the hosting and web development aspects, which made it stand out from a lot of services I've used before. And today I'm letting you in on my experience using Bluehost for my latest website. I'll take you through some of its main features and how much it costs before touching on some pros and cons I encountered along the way. So by the end of this video, you're gonna have a better idea of whether Bluehost could work for you. All right, so if you haven't heard of Bluehost, it was started up back in 2003 and offers web and VPS hosting, as well as helpful tools for the actual website building process. And on top of providing the space, you need to build out and scale your website pretty much on demand. They have great tools to support the design process. One of my favorites being their drag and drop WordPress web builder, which made the whole build process so much faster and smoother than I was used to. And this is coming from someone who's been building websites for almost eight years. Now to sign up and get started with Bluehost, the first thing you'll do is select a plan and they have a good deal of options to choose from. But if you're used to Elementor or Shopify for e-commerce, you might need to do a little adjusting to get closer to the way their layouts look because you can, of course, use Bluehost for e-commerce, but it's designed to create and manage all sorts of websites. And in terms of security, they give you a lot of great tools like shared VPN hosting, multiple antiviruses and firewalls, as well as VPS or virtual private server hosting, which adds an extra layer of protection, especially for websites that handle sensitive data like credit card information. And as far as pricing, Bluehost offers five different package types, hosting, commerce, VPS, dedicated, and cloud, with lots of different subscription tiers to choose from. This makes Bluehost a versatile pick for a broad range of businesses whether well, you just need basic services or tools designed to work in sync with WordPress. So to touch on a few, their basic plan starting at $3 a month can support up to 10 websites and get you 10 gigs of storage, as well as a free domain name in your first year. Or if you're managing an online store, you can opt for one of their commerce packages for seven bucks a month. The e-commerce essentials plan, for instance, will get you 100 gigabytes of data and supports unlimited products while providing additional features you might need to manage your business like secure online payments and email campaign management. But if you have more sensitive data on your website and you're looking for additional security, then you might want to check out Bluehost VPS web hosting, which basically stores your data on a server that's run through a VPN or a virtual private network. It encrypts sensitive data like your IP address to keep your website more anonymous and safe. And their VPS plans offer a lot of options like up to 450 gigabytes of NVMe storage, unmetered bandwidth, and up to 16 gigs of RAM for just under $100 a month. Or for those of you who anticipate a lot of traffic to your site, you might benefit from a dedicated server plan, which gives you access to 32 gigs of RAM each month, as well as unmetered bandwidth, which you shouldn't even come close to meeting unless you are looking at building a website that you know is going to be huge right away. And if you wanna get started with Bluehost to manage your next website, then you can use the affiliate links down in the description below. It won't cost you anything extra. Plus it'll automatically apply a discount at checkout that you wouldn't be able to get if you went straight to their website. So Bluehost functions mainly in WordPress, which is true of about 60% of the websites on the internet, making them the standard. And the majority of the web building side of things is done with their drag and drop system, which makes setting up a website pretty straightforward. The other nice thing that I liked about Bluehost is that their uptime or their website speed is very fast and has always been pretty reliable, meaning you get a really responsive site without any, at least in my experience, any lag or excessively long load times. I also like knowing that my websites are always protected because Bluehost offers three different antivirus programs along with a firewall. Now, in my experience, Bluehost does pretty well in terms of services for people looking to scale or customize their plans to fit the unique goals of their website. Though, if the site you want to build doesn't need to look super fancy or have any complicated functions, then honestly, you might be able to get away with using a simpler, cheaper platform. But for those looking for a little more in terms of features like storage space and high amounts of RAM, 
Bluehost is probably the way to go. Though one other issue, and this really applies for shared hosting in general, not just to Bluehost specifically, but generally, the downside of shared hosting is that if you get too much traffic on your site, the server will be at capacity, which will slow you down as well as any other websites that share the server. So if you are anticipating lots of traffic or say you are running an e-commerce site that runs special deals around the holidays, you might want to think about not using shared hosting because the last thing you want to do is have your website crash during a major shopping season or similar routine operations that just bring in high traffic. However, Bluehost does offer plenty of features that I really liked, such as being able to easily scale up your storage or the type of hosting plan you choose. And as I mentioned, the website's uptimes are very fast, meaning you most likely won't have to worry about slow loading speeds. Plus, I really like that all of their plans offered Cloudflare protection, which is software that prevents DDoS attacks or dedicated denial of service, which is basically when attackers or hackers flood your site with a bunch of fake traffic to slow it down or prevent it from functioning normally. Attacks like that wreak havoc on websites every day, causing them to crash. So knowing that my hard work is protected gives me some much needed peace of mind. So to sum things up, while there are a lot of services out there that cover the basic features that you might need for hosting a website, if you want a platform designed to support a wider range of website types, I definitely recommend looking into Bluehost. Their catalog of plans and different features simplifies the process of creating and hosting your own custom site. While their robust security measures operate to keep that website up and running, in my experience, building and managing any kind of website can be tricky if you're a beginner, but services like Bluehost can be a big help as you're getting set up and learning the ropes. And that's all for this review. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more just like this. As a reminder, if you want to get started with Bluehost for your next website, then you can check out the affiliate link in the description at no extra cost. It'll get you a discount you wouldn't find if you went directly to their website. Now, as always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts, so go ahead and leave your questions or comments down below, and I'll try and get back to them as fast as I can. And finally, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.